The C-17 Globemaster III is the most flexible cargo aircraft to enter the airlift force. The C-17 is capable of rapid strategic delivery of troops and all types of cargo to main operating bases, or directly to forward bases in the deployment area. The aircraft can perform tactical airlift and airdrop missions and can transport litters and ambulatory patients during aeromedical evacuations. The inherent flexibility and performance of the C-17 force improve the ability of the total airlift system to fulfill the worldwide air mobility requirements of the United States. The ultimate measure of airlift effectiveness is the ability to rapidly project and sustain an effective combat force close to a potential battle area. Threats to U.S. interests have changed in recent years and the size and weight of U.S. mechanized firepower and equipment have grown in response to improved capabilities of potential adversaries. This trend has significantly increased air mobility requirements, particularly in the area of large or heavy outsize cargo. As a result, newer and more flexible airlift aircraft are needed to meet potential armed contingencies, peacekeeping or humanitarian missions worldwide. The C-17 is capable of meeting today's demanding airlift missions. The C-17 measures 174 feet long with a wingspan of 169 feet 10 inches. The aircraft is powered by four Pratt and Whitney F-117 PW-100 turbofan engines, which are based on the commercial Pratt and Whitney PW-2040 used on the Boeing 757. Each engine is rated at 40,440 pounds of thrust and includes thrust reversers that direct the flow of air upward and forward to avoid ingestion of dust and debris. Additionally, thrust reversers provide enough thrust to reverse the aircraft while taxing backwards and create in-flight drag for maximum rate descents. The design characteristics give it the capability to operate into and out of short runways and austere airfields carrying large payloads. The aircraft is operated by a crew of three, pilot, co-pilot and loadmaster, reducing manpower requirements risk exposure and long-term operating costs. Cargo is loaded onto the C-17 through a large aft ramp and door system that accommodates virtually all of the Army's air transportable equipment such as a 69-ton M1 Abrams main battle tank, armored vehicles, trucks, and trailers. Additionally, the cargo floor has rollers that can be flipped from a flat floor to accommodate wheeled or tracked vehicles to rollerized conveyors to accommodate palletized cargo. The C-17 is designed to airdrop 102 paratroopers with their accompanying equipment. Maximum payload capacity of the C-17 is 170,900 pounds and its maximum gross takeoff weight is 585,000 pounds. With a payload of 164,900 pounds and an initial cruise altitude of 28,000 feet, the C-17 has an unrefueled range of approximately 2,400 nautical miles. Its cruise speed is approximately 450 knots, 0.74 Mach. The design of the aircraft, high lift wing, slats, and externally blown flaps allows it to operate through small, austere airfields. The C-17 can take off and land on runways as short as 3,500 feet and only 90 feet wide. Even on such narrow runways, the C-17 can turn around using a three-point star turn and its backing capability.